Here at Aqua Ionizer Pro, we're going to talk about the alkalinity strength of the water. Now, most people might not realize that there's two types of alkaline water. There's regular alkaline water, and then there's alkaline ionized water. The ionization of the water is really important because it shows the strength of the water. The strength of the alkalinity of the water more specifically. Now there's two ways to really make alkaline water. Through the ionization process, through a water ionizer, and through a chemical process. Now most bottled alkaline water uses a chemical process by adding either magnesium or sodium bicarbonate, which is you know the stuff from baking soda, into the water to add chemicals to raise the pH of the water and it does create an alkaline water. You know, just like if you take your tap water at home and you put some baking soda in it, you've actually created a chemical-based alkaline water. Now, do I, we suggest you do this? Definitely not. That is not what we're here for. It's going to taste horrible and it's not going to give you the benefits that you're looking for. But today we want to really show the difference between those two. Now, we can't show you the taste over a video because that's one of the main factors when you actually get the water. But what we can show you is what happens when you blow bubbles into some chemical-based alkaline water. Now, why would blowing bubbles into water make a difference? Now, when you exhale bubbles, you know, you're blowing air out, it's CO2. Now, what happens when you add a whole bunch of CO2 to some chemical-based alkaline water, it actually goes from alkaline down to acidic. So the chemicals are still in the water, but you can tell that the water was created differently. It was not through an ionization process through a water ionizer. It was through a chemical process by adding, you know, magnesium, sodium bicarbonate. There, there's several chemicals you can add to water to artificially make it alkaline. So we're going to apply some bubbles here to some smart water. And as you can tell, it was already acidic and it's getting a little bit more acidic. Uh, the next one after this one, we've got some more bottled water. So it's starting off, I would say, neutral. And we're going to blow some bubbles into it. And as you can tell it is starting to become acidic and you probably don't even realize this can happen and it's a fun experiment you could do at home where there's no trick photography there's no nothing here it's some bottled water in some cups with a straw and some pH drops which show the difference in pH you know in real time and we're gonna try this again here with some more bottled water and as you can tell, most of these bottled waters um, start off uh, pretty neutral or acidic. We're getting several bubbles in here, you know, just continuing to show. Here's some Dasani. And as you can tell, you can see exactly what's happening with all the extra bubbles or uh, CO2 here being added to the water. Now, the two purple waters here were created from an ionizer through the ionization process. These came from uh, one of our Aqua Ionizer Pro water ionizers. Through the ionization process and the strength of the alkalinity in that water is there. It is not artificial. You're not going to move around the little magnesium teeny tiny little atoms and you can continuously see more bubbles and the alkalinity stays. The ionization is important to show the difference between an artificially created alkaline water and a more natural process through the ionization. As you continue to see, the other water has not uh, changed. It hasn't started to become uh, acidic or anything like that. And this is really telling how powerful the alkaline ionized water is. It can go back through and actually help acidic water. Now you gotta add a little bit to each one and you can tell, look at that, big difference. 
So if you'd like some more information or you want to even make this test yourself at home, uh, please contact us. We would love to hear from you. And if you have any other questions or even some suggestions, uh, we'd also love to hear from you there. So in conclusion, thank you for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed the information about your water. We know you might not know everything about alkaline ionized water, but we're here to help. So again, thank you.